Black Clover chapter 375 and 376 was pure cinema because we get the battle of not Ichika and Yami working together to actually take down Morgan. And this chapter, we focus and get development of Knot's character and how much he's holding and he still can't move forward with the sin and the responsibility that he caused Morgan's death. He's still dealing with that. So this whole chapter, we get to see character development with Knot and we get to see like how he's struggling with it and how he's able to shake it off because we do eventually see him doing the killing blow to actually defeat Morgan. Morgan, but it came with a whole bunch of convincing for not to actually remain focused because in the beginning of this chapter, we saw that not, he realized that Morgan's like devil that he got reincarnated with is the same devil that killed him and his family, which is Lucifugus. Yes, Lucifugus Fugus is the power that Morgan is using because he has dark magic and he remembers like that crown or the horn that Morgan has. So not as pissed off and he's just summoning all of his devils so that way he can do this epic fusion that we saw in previous chapters before. And we get the awesome double spread page of not Morgan and Lucius duking it out as they go into this epic clash. And it's just 100% awesome. But then we eventually were able to see how Lucius was able to escape because during around this whole clash, this is the opportunity where Lucius was able to escape the monozone. And then we see that Yami defeated the Lucius clone. And the, before the Lucius clone turned into dust, he goes on ahead and tells Yami like, hey, you know, Morgan's a lot stronger than you and me combined. He was like, I'm surprised that you got stronger, Yami, but you ain't like Morgan. And then we see not monozone actually just disappear because of the fact that Morgan beat him. And during around that time of the monozone era, when they were duking it out, Morgan realized that not is still like hesitant towards him because he still blames himself for the cause of, you know, his brother's death. So, you know, Morgan is kind of using psychological and also to like his own power as well to make sure that not doesn't stay focused. So Yami seeing this and Ichika is surprised because not only that not is powerful with his shadow magic, he also has anti-magic that Asta has gave him and he's Still lost. So at this time, we see that not he's saying like, look, I already killed my brother once. I can't do this again. And then Yami's pissed off because he's just like, bro, we about to die if you can't get your thing together. So he goes on ahead and try to save not from Morgan because Morgan was about to go on ahead and use his magic, his light magic to destroy not. But then Yami comes in for the save, deflected that, and he's just telling Morgan, I mean, not that, bro, you are pathetic. Like, why are you so infatuated? Why are you still carrying this sin? And why are you so whining about the fact that your brother is dead? Like, bro, he's about to kill everyone if you can't get your sting together. And not is saying, like, I know, I know, I know. And this is the first time that not actually seen his brother since his death. So not is trying to get used to this. So this is his first time like interacting with his brother since he came back from the dead. So, you know, it got to give not some time before, you know, he, he, he snaps out of that funk, but Yami goes on ahead and he's just like, look, you're pathetic. If you're whining that you are going to be fighting your brother by yourself, then I will go on ahead and fight with you, but you're going to have to do the killing blow. So at this time, we see that Yami, he all charged up, power up, and we get another part of the chapter where I really like when Yami clash with Morgan with his sword and Morgan's swords, and it literally is awesome. But then as the battle continues, Yami goes on ahead and he says that the real enemy is Lucius because this person who is using, you know, um, the actually the Wizard King's body 
is the actual villain and we need to go on ahead and defeat him. So we go on ahead and we see that Yami, he charged up with his dark magic. And that chapter ends for chapter 375. So we continue on from the next chapter with the battle between Yami and Morgan after Yami is all charged up with his dark magic as he goes on ahead and use his dimension slash attack but Morgan goes on ahead and block it as he's able to use his dark magic and Yami is pissed. So with the combination of Morgan's dark magic and light magic, he's able enough to go on ahead and keep Yami busy, which frustrates Yami because of the fact that Yami can't find any opening. Even when he's using his dark moon, he is not able to find an opening to go on ahead and hit Morgan. So at this time, in a far distance, we see Ichika and Not. They're actually watching this battle as Not is just thinking of uh, that he always wanted to actually be a magic knight with his brother and Yami. And that way they can go on ahead and like fight bad guys and whatnot together. But Ichigo goes on ahead and she actually talks to Not. So Ichigo says to Not like, hey, I don't know the relationship between you and my brother, but from what Asta has told me, my brother has been like inspiring people and all sorts of people. So she's just like, look, I'm going to go on ahead and help my brother because I'm not going to be standing there looking like a worthless, tragic princess because Yami, he's getting his ass handed to him because Morgan's putting that work. He is literally putting that work and Yami needs some help. So at this time, it's really great to see that Ichika, she joins in in the battle because that light magic, that light magic was about to hit Yami because Yami wasn't in a position to actually go on ahead and block it. So when Ichika goes on ahead and join in on the fight, she was able to go on ahead and save her brother from like actual damage so at this time yami he's feeling it he's hyped because he's just like whoa like my sister she got this type of mana this type of magic he was just like we may not look alike but our jujitsu and magic sure does as we see brother and sister combine as they use a dark combo spell, dark heavens, as we see a whole bunch of balls around them as they look very demonic. And at this time, we see the brother and sister battle against Morgan in this epic clash. And Not is just watching this as he says that, I'm sorry, I was trying to make it an easy way out by telling myself that I could die at any time. I didn't make a mark and the end of a sin. And then we see that Not join in in the battle as Yami says that you're late partner. And he says, sorry to keep you waiting partner. And then Morgan says, I knew it, brother, you're the one who is the greatest talent for magic. As all four, well, actually all three of them are clashing against Morgan and we get this double spread and it's just very chaotic. Like, I don't know what Tabata was doing, but he was cooking in this panel. As you can just see a whole bunch of light and dark magic just surrounding the whole area, destroying everything every single buildings and they're like just moving fast and it's called dark dark shadow magic um plug night and then we see all three of them are charging towards morgan and they're trying to do the finishing blow and then suddenly towards the end of the chapter we are able to see that not he was able to actually pierce his brother as the chapter ends as we see that Knott is behind Morgan and he stabbed him in the back as he says, goodbye, Morgan. I, sh sh I will shoulder this pain forever as he is crying because he did the finishing blow against his brother again. So he killed his brother twice. So this, that's how the chapter just pretty much ends. And we are eventually are able to see that one of the paladins of Lucius and one of his clones has been defeated and that we are able to see that you're not Morgan 
storyline has concluded and that not will actually have his closure and try to move forward with his life and we're able to see how yami and his sister they got closure from whatever family drama that they have so that way they can go on ahead and move forward and we're able to see them working together and actually try to fight and destroy morgan but this whole chapter these whole two chapters or three chapters was just pure cinema it was just really amazing i'm just so happy that we were able to get this storyline and focus on the storyline because this was just straight awesome but let me know down in the comment section how you guys feel about this latest chapter of Black Clover. Let me know if you guys like it, dislike it. If you guys do like the video, hit the like and subscribe button. And remember, always be decent. It's the Monotone Man. And hope you guys have a wonderful day and be safe out here.